Hello YouTube, Flash Notion, the Ponify Talking Head, here with another reaction video. And if I sound a little bit more subdued, it's because I just watched an awesome, awesome episode of the actual show, episode 13 of season 7. Perfect pair. Yeah, I just watched that, and I have more stuff to watch here for Quest Your Girls, the shorts. Um, but I honestly cannot imagine that they will in any way compare at all to what I just watched. Still, there are three of them to watch and react to, and I want to get through them, so let's just watch these. I mean, why not? Yeah, let's just watch them. So, first one's called um, Monday Blues, I think is what it's called. I'm not sure. Whatever. Let's just let's just get to it. We'll watch it. I think this first one's a song, so should be interesting. But we will be starting them in three, two, one, play. Mm. So this one is definitely made by DHX here. Ah, I love that. I love that. That is so cool. I hope we get more stuff from DHX that uses that. Ah, some tells me this one's going to be a bit sad because it's, uh, it's a sunlight thing. Oh! Sunset's home. That's cute. Yeah, I've done that before. <laughs> Aww. She is adorable. I'm also noticing the contrast right there. So, sunset stuff looks um, very uh, old, like beat up. <laughs> like, oh yeah, windblown look. I'm cool. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Missed the bus! <laughs> Aww. And. Aww. <laughs> backup. <laughs> of course, Twilight would have a backup. And Sunset's uh, gotta go in and get coffee and. Donut, but it's all. Aww. That's the guy that, um. But she doesn't have time to go back and get a back a second one. Aww. Uh, <laughs> wow. I'm not gonna question that. Wow, what? <laughs> I don't even know. Aww. Aww. Sunset has just become even better to me now. Because, I mean, she's, like... They got it. Are they trying to get to school or what? It says Monday Blues, which would imply school. Yep, school. Huh. Oh, now that's... Wow. There, There's the shipping fuel all the way right there. <laughs> Look at what... Oh, poor Rarity. Aww. Even, wow, they all... <laughs> oh, Dash using her powers there? Yep. What the... Still wearing her slippers, apparently. Everybody looks like crap. Wow, okay. That was adorable. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna real quick pause this right here. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and I'll restart the next one. Oh, wow. Okay, so before we get too much farther, I just I just have to get this out there. We gotta look at where Sunset lives, apparently. And it's a crap hole. I'm just gonna say that. Like, speaking plainly, it is a crap hole. That place... No. I mean, it's obvious that she is at the bottom of society right there, basically. And she's living on her own. No parents or nothing. Like, wow. Now, a lot of people have said that Sunset is older than her friends at CHS because she's a pony and whatnot. And yeah. Um, no, no. 
my headcanon, as far as that goes, is that Sunset went through the mirror shortly after leaving Celestia's tutelage, and she stayed in the human world for most of that time. And we have seen from the Equestria Girls movies that the timeline of Equestria and the timeline of the human world are not the same. More time passes in Equestria than passes in the human world. Because Sun... Or, um, in... Fourth movie. Everfree. Legend of Everfree. They said that it, all that stuff had happened in one year. But we've seen in... Or we got at the end of Friendship Games that it happened... That movie happened during slash after the season five finale. And we know for a fact that a lot of time has passed in between all of that. Multiple holidays, multiple years overall have passed. Okay? So, yeah, I'm just putting that out there that it has been a long time between Twilight going through the mirror for the first time and well, where we are now in Equestria. And also, but it's been a much shorter time since the first time Twilight came through the CHS and where we are now in Equestria Girls. Just, well, maybe not now so much because of the, um, like the shorts that or the specials that we had. Those clearly covered like a couple of months. So it's not necessarily as much of a difference as I might have thought, but it's still fair big difference. So yeah, Sunset will, if Sunset stayed in the human world for most of that time, she would not have actually aged as much as she would have in the pony world, which means she could actually be younger than Twilight, technically. So yeah. And if that's the case, I mean, and her maturity level was definitely a lot lower before meeting Twilight. So yeah, I mean, just thinking about her situation living in the human world, it must be utter horrible. Okay, time for the other two here. So, yeah, let's restart this here. The, these ones I'm pretty sure are probably going to be made by Boulder Media instead. So, um, yeah, starting 7 and 8 in 3, 2, 1, play. Pet Project. Obviously going to be Fluttershy. What is she wearing? Is that a uniform? Oh! Winona does exist, much like Opal, and she looks exactly the same. <laughs> Aww. And there's Sunset. Winona looks cleaner and a whistle. Now she's all ready for the photo shoot. Uh, photo shoot? For the charity calendar, we're making it to raise money for the local animal shelter. It's going to feature all of our pets. <laughs> Tank, Spike. <laughs> Spike's just like, oh That's yeah. Great. I wish I could contribute, but <laughs> mm, I don't have a pet. Oh. You could be the photo editor. What? No, no. Callbacks. I wouldn't even know what to get. <laughs> oh. Well. That's true, we already have... Well, no, there... Okay. You know, you know what? Never mind. There, I mean, there's two dogs, so why can't there be two cats? Um... Not even gonna question that. Okay, everybody. Yep. Aww. <laughs> Spike's just like... Oh, yeah. Wait. Got room for one more? You're not a pet, silly. No, I mean, I've changed my mind. Fluttershy, will you help me choose a pet? <gasps> I thought you never asked. <laughs> we, can we get like a human version of the find a pet song? Please? No. Welcome to the animal shelter. Oh, I just know there's going to be the perfect little pet for you somewhere in here. This better be canon at this point. They're just so cuddly. Don't you think, Sunset Shimmer? Uh, not for me. Maybe something a little less furry. Oh. That is an ugly goldfish. No fur at all. This one's got beautiful fins. No. Uh, I 
don't know. It would be cool to be able to hold my pet. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. A bird? The thing. Or a lizard? Lizard could work. Bearded dragons are cool. I love bearded dragons as pets. Hey there, little guy. Aww. <laughs> He's kind of funky looking. Well, aren't you just a little ray of sunshine? I'll take him. Aww. <laughs> this better be canon! I mean, he's a little far down in the corner. Oh, don't worry. You can scoot in a little, sweetie. They won't bite. It's okay, Ray. I'll take care of you, okay? Ray? Promise. <gasps> oh! That better be canon! I want that to be in the next one. Like, the... Sunset needs to keep up that pat. That needs to happen. So, oh, something focusing on human Celestia and Luna, maybe. Good is afternoon, class. I will be filling in as substitute teacher today. So cool. Oh, this is quite a treat for me. I love being your principal oh. here at Canterlot High, but I do miss my old teaching days sometimes. <laughs> hint, hint, wink, wink. The geology lesson, shall we? Who can name the three types of rocks? Uh, sedimentary? <laughs> sedimentary rocks, sure metamorphic rocks, doctor. and igneous rocks. I'll be right back, students. Twilight, you're in charge till I return. <laughs> of course. So sorry about that. Now, uh, where were we? Uh, yes. Who can name the three types of... <laughs> It'd be the cafeteria crisis. She got a minute. Uh, of course. <laughs> Where's Luna? Why can't she handle all of this? Can't take it off. <laughs> now, let's try this again. Who can... Huh? <gasps> Who can... Name... The... I'll be right back. <laughs> Rainbow Dash! Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Lift and put back. Sure, Vice Principal Luna can't handle it. Oh. I'll be right there. Huh. <laughs> Won't be but a moment. <laughs> Twilight, teach the class. <laughs> back. And I am quite certain that will be the final interruption. <laughs> now. I don't want to know, but they're all like right, best class ever. Wow. <laughs> Poor Celestia. Yeah. Okay. So that one... Alright, let's talk about all of these. Um, okay, the first one, the song one, absolutely adorable. I love it. Um, I wasn't even paying attention to the song. I was just looking at the visuals because there was actual story going on there. The song, as far as I'm concerned, was just background. So I'll probably have to rewatch that a few times to actually hear the song and decide for myself whether or not it was good. Um, when it first started, I know it had a good rhythm going to it. It sounded pretty poppy and fun. So, yeah. There was that. As for those visuals, uh, yes. Showing, once again, similarities between Sunset and Saitwai and, yeah, them getting ready for the... Well, d similarities, but also contrasts. Uh, the way they get ready for the morning... Just, yeah, Sunset is so much worse off. Like, it's obvious that, I mean, just from the fact that she went to a private school, Crystal Prep, uh, Twilight must belong to a fairly well-off family. Like, I mean, we know that she came from Canterlot in, uh, in Equestria. So Equestria and Twilight was probably, like, her family was, if not nobility, then her family was pretty high up there. I mean, her 
brother also what is the captain was the captain of the guard and is now a prince so yes her family in equestria is well off sai Twai in the human world must also be at least upper middle class i'd say so yeah so she's she's got that going for her but i mean that doesn't necessarily stop her from having a crappy morning <laughs> but sunset on the other hand like, she's at the bottom rung there. She had to claw her way up from coming over from Equestria. And I just realized that, like, Sunset couldn't have an ID. Like, getting a house usually requires some form of identification. So wherever Sunset is right now, it's probably not a very good place to be. I mean... Like, and there that's the... the like, you could say that she could have immigrated to the country or whatever, but that wouldn't work either because an immigrant would have to show their identification from their old country, wouldn't they? I mean, I'd, I've never gone through the process, obviously, but that wouldn't work. It just it doesn't seem like it would work. So, Sunset's basically an illegal alien squatting in a house somewhere, probably. And she's probably making do with thrift store stuff. And... That's another point. Like, how is she getting money? Like, one story I read, I like, FIM Fiction said that she was pawning equestrian gold off in the human world. And that's how she got her money. Which, fair enough, I guess, but at the same time, man, that would have, that would suck. Man, I mean, that short just goes a long way towards making you feel sorry for Sunset. Even back when she was being a villain. Like, she must have had to go through some really bad stuff. Like, maybe that's what actually made her go down the road to full-on villainy in the first place. Like, you figure that when she first came through, she was a little bit scared, a lot resentful of Celestia. She might have poked her head back through a few times and saw what was happening in Equestria. And all that, but... Like... Maybe it was her experiences in the human world and not making any friends and having to rely on just herself and her wits and everything just not going right for her. Like, maybe that's what really pushed her over the edge. But now she has friends and so she can deal with that. And her friends are also not necessarily having the best morning. Rainbow Dash ran all the way to school using her powers and she burned her shoes off. Applejack forgot her actual shoes and came to school wearing her slippers. Rarity is an absolute mess because she the rain ruined her hair and all that sort of thing. And Pinkie Pie is, well, not poofy this morning. <laughs> um, am I forgetting anybody? I feel like I'm forgetting one of them. Oh yeah, Fluttershy. Fluttershy came in with a bird nest in her hair. Not the first time that's ever happened to her, but <laughs> yeah. And then we move over and we look at the next couple shorts. Uh, and yes, uh, the first one there needs to be canon. I demand that to be canon right now because, oh my god, that was adorable. Sunset and a lizard named Ray. That is perfect. Like, oh my goodness, that is just perfect. And now that just makes me wonder what uh, what pet uh, Glim Glam would get there. What, what, what would Starlight get? I was kind of hoping a little bit, just a little bit, for a human version of the Find a Pet song, because seriously, that's just such a cool song. But, um, no, that it was adorable. I like it. Would have been cooler if she'd gotten an actual bearded dragon, but hey, a, that little newt lizard, what, what is that thing? It's not a, it's not a, it, it would have to be a newt. It couldn't be a salamander. Salamanders wouldn't work. Would it? I don't know. It's either a newt or a salamander. One or the other. Or maybe it's a gecko. Could be a gecko. It's probably a gecko of some sort. Whatever. Her pet lizard thing there. Adorable. I love it. And I love Sunset being adorable. So, yeah. And the last one there with Celestia. uh, No, I like that one too. Because some people... Like, Celestia always gets the short end of the stick, I feel like, in these stories, because when we first saw Celestia, she the implication was that she was basically a goddess. And since then, our opinion of her has just gone down more and more and more as we've seen her be 
seemingly incompetent or weak or just unable to deal with the threats to Equestria and whatnot and having to rely on Twilight. So, yeah, I mean, just, it's, it's really not good. And, if anything, the human version has fared even worse, because in the first one, she was no help at all. In the second one, she got brainwashed. In the third one, she was, once again, not really much of a help, and she put a bunch of pressure on Sunset Shimmer, and that just made things worse, if anything. Um, in the fourth one, fourth one she was okay, but she didn't have too much of a role. Uh, so, I really like that in this one... Hey, she's subbing in a classroom. I had that happen, I think, a couple times with the principal. Not not very often, but I think it did happen a couple of times. So, it's it, it's nice to see that. And, um, yeah, just overall, like, it, it gave her good, gave a good opportunity to show her being frazzled and all the stuff that she has to deal with. And this did for Human Celestia, I think, what, um, what a royal problem did for... Pony Celestia, in that a royal problem showed Pony Celestia losing her cool a little bit and not being the calm, cool, collected leader, and at the same time gave an excuse for why she got taken out so easily by enemies. So, yeah, this short kind of does that for Human Celestia. Overall, I enjoyed all three of these more than any of the last batch, so if this is any indication... They're, they should just keep getting better. So yeah, I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, I don't really know what else to say here. Uh, yeah, I mean, not quite as ex like. I don't think these have gotten me as pumped up as the uh, last episode did, but I think I might have actually talked longer, relatively speaking, for these ones. Uh, yeah, I hate myself in editing again, but whatever. So, I will see you all next week for another episode of the actual show, and hopefully some more shorts. Until then, see ya.